Hello everyone, this is the Russian Prince with another Hearts of Iron 4 uh, Let's Play episode with the Get Over Victory expansion as the Dominion of Canada, yes. Yes, I know we have a thumbnail for Australia, but there's, I think there's pretty much only Australian graphics for Get Over for Victory, only like uh, an image with the Australian flag, so... That's why I use that one anyway, because it's like I'm more thinking, okay, it's to get her for victory, not necessarily just, you know, Australia. So that's why I use that graphics. But anyway, let's uh, think about what we're going to do here. But I'm just going to speed things forward. Once I'm done with the anti-tank, I'll add it to the production queue. Because it's going to be important. For 1938, well, okay, we just got the research. 1938 is soon going to be on the way. This is still a little bit ahead, but this one is the one that I need to research. So there we go. Computing machine, super important stuff. I want the super superior firepower. I'm going to go for the spurts to support as well. Italy announces claims on Yugoslavian territory. Speaking to the Italian populations along the Dalmatian coast. Benito Mussolini has announced that Italy fully considers Italian speaking territory in Yugoslavia to be a rightful part of Italy. Yeah, they speak Italian, so then they must be part of Italy, right? An official statement backed up the claims, making it clear that Italy is prepared to take the territory by force, if need be. They're upsetting the already fragile balance in the region. Oh, really? You don't say. Okay, so I really, really want the plan right now. Defense of Canada regulations. What? Actually, why didn't we go for that? This is pretty bad. <laughs> should have, should have, should have gone for that. Because we need funded the uh, whatever here. You know. So we kind of messed it up. Because we want that research slot no matter what. So we need to go for it. It's like so important to get that extra research slot. And I think like we could have gotten it some time ago. I will assume or actually I don't remember just let me know in the comments if we could have taken it before but I think this is the first time I see it but I don't think we could have taken it before but I want to know if uh, I could have taken it before hmm. of course if you look here we have problems with the, the, the fact that we're lacking the manpower necessary uh, yeah, we have a huge lack of manpower. It's a pretty big problem, honestly. So we're gonna go for send in the zombies and not national steel car, because we need more manpower so we can make more units. It's very, very important. Don't care about insufficient stuff there. Now, civilian factories. I thought we built more of them, but why are what are they being used for? Construction, really consumer goods. We have more on consumer goods. This I just built another civilian factory and what? Okay, the Anschluss of Austria. After a successful coup d'etat by the local Nazi party in Vienna, German troops have crossed the Austrian border and taken control of the country. No fighting has been reported and the German soldiers were greeted by cheering crowds in the cities. In a speech before a massive crowd, at the Heldenplatz in Vienna, Hitler announced the Anschluss of Austria annexing the country into Germany. The oldest eastern province of the German people shall be, from this point on, the newest bastion of the German Reich. Okay. And we have another national focus. Again, I'm going to go for national resources stuff stuff right there. And what can we get? Well, none of these are too useful. If we look at military high command, we need artillery guy, definitely. So I'm gonna go, go pick that artillery guy here. Oh no, we could have, I made a huge mistake. We could have mobilized here. But oh well, oh well, we, we, we messed up because we have the political power to do it and we didn't do it. If I messed up, I could have had more civilian factories working on it, but oh well. Damn, if only I didn't click it, you know. See, like... I'm making so many mistakes right now. <laughs> if we go to Air Doctrine, wow, this is... Two days. 
One day, really. Huh, that's pretty nice. We just got that, and then we need to get this. Wait, what? That's 102 days. Uh, we really should have gone for that one then. <laughs> but, oh uh, well, what can we actually do right now? Look here, then we look at the support stuff. There's nothing that we really want. We want 1938 stuff. And the 1938 stuff, well... We want to research that, but it's so far ahead of time, that's the thing. If we take this, it's fine. It's a huge bonus anyway, so we might as well uh, go for it, honestly. Gotta get that bonus. Gotta get that bonus. And we still need more factories. Actually, this might be a mistake. No, 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 it's not a mistake. The next one takes more uh, research points. Or uh, factories. So it's good that we're going for this one. Then we're going to go for that one. Then we go for... The plan isn't so useful. No, it's, it really isn't. Mm. This would be very important to take. But yeah, we need to get all that stuff. And see what can, we can research right here. Air, no. Air doctrine, no, 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 no. No need to go through any of that. But now the artillery here, this is still ahead of time. Damn it. <laughs> All right, we have 1938 proper stuff here. And Indian National Congress triumphs in provincial elections. In the recent local elections, the Indian National Congress has achieved an overwhelming majority for their platform of slow and ordered transition to local government and dominion status in the future. Oh, it appears that Indians have rejected the more radical policies advocated by Gandhi, who had argued for a total break with Britain and absolute home rule as soon as possible. Okay. Do votes really change anything? That is a good question. Do votes mean anything? And of course, I still want to use these guys more for civilian factories. We just got more manpower and it was just used again, completely eaten up fully. So I want this research slot and once I have it, then I can focus on taking this and then this because we need that. And we want the Alberta, you know, coal stuff. I'm going to go for that now. Here's the problem. I'm not gonna go for this. I'm gonna take the coal stuff, but yeah. Will not commit to the war. And now here, this is a huge thing. We want partial mobilization. So now we can use more civilian factories to work on creating even more civilian factories. Yay. There we go. I'm gonna build as many civilian factories as I can. And now I can actually build as many as I can. Okay. So I just got home defense here. This uh, pretty big name for that mortar thing. And if we go for engineering, no, 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 no. Land Doctrine Artillery, this is again 1939. This one is only t gonna take us 88 days, so really, it is honestly fine. And we just funded the National Research Council, so we're gonna go for mind a shit. No, no, no. This, this first, so we can take Canada Wheat Board, because it's that one is very, very good. Research slot available. Again, more available stuff. So we're taking all the 38 stuff that we can. Not much necessary here, not much necessary here. 39. See? Everything is, like, so old. Not old, but you know what I mean. Okay, 38. So let's just go for the Air Doctrine, then. You know, just nothing else I can really take because everything here would be ahead of time. So rather just not touch it, you know. And with wartime prices, trade board, that's going to be good. We just we got this now. So now it's even it's even more difficult, honestly, to choose what we want. But support battalions, not quite. It's very, very difficult. Man. But... I guess that takes too long. But if we start researching the industry stuff right here, like this, 
that's very important. We can research it ahead of time because there's nothing else that's really good right now. Oh, but we do, however, want the artillery, so we're going to research that ahead of time when it's a possibility. Once we finish the improved infantry equipment, and here we're going to get... Uh, oh, actually, we already have our fourth research slot. Oops. And yeah, eventually we're going to go for this too, once we have more than... Well, I have to be fully independent, so... That's going to actually take a while, so it's not worth going that route that fast. Unless they give us good bonuses. Now, this does good, because uh, minus 5%. It's in pieces. This is pretty good. Because it gives us more stuff, so why not? Okay, okay, okay. Stuff is happening. Stuff is happening. Okay, so we just got delay here. Let's take a focus. What focus can we take? Mind the shield or this? Of course, we're gonna take this. So we're gonna modify the Great Depression. And of course, the Munich Agreement. German demands for the Sudeten territory in Czechoslovakia, which is home to considerable German minority, have intensified. At a summit held in Munich, Germany, Britain, France, and Italy sought to find a diplomatic solution to the so called Sudeten crisis. Czechoslovakia was not invited to attend. An agreement was reached in which Germany annexes the Sudetenland, I was gonna say Switzerland, <laughs> but will not pursue any further territorial gains in Europe. Well, we all, we all know how that went out. Mr. Chamberlain spoke to crowds in London. For the second time, a prime minister has returned from Germany, bringing peace with honor. I believe it is peace for our time. Well, I guess you can continue believing it, but that's not gonna work out that well. No war this year then. <laughs> yeah. For now. France and Britain announce alliance. Calling upon the bonds forged during the Great War, France has requested a formal alliance with Britain, citing unspecified threats against the stability of Europe. Today, their request was approved by the British Parliament, and France has joined the Allies. They're preparing for the worst. It's gonna happen soonish. <laughs> the Fourth International. A number of communist delegates from around the world met in Paris today. Oh for a founding conference, laying the groundwork for what has been known as the Fourth International. Calls for its formation have existed for years, with supporters of Trotsky's theories taking the lead. Stalin has responded to the growing support for Trotskyism abroad by ordering additional assassinations and increasing propaganda against his old rival. With the past purges of suspected Trotskyists in the high ranks of the Soviet military and leadership in recent me memory, this is unlikely to be met with any resistance. Well, there we go, guys. <laughs> Stalin doing his thin thing. Okay, Soviet withdrawal. After buildup of Japanese forces in Manchuria, the Soviet Union appears to have unexpectedly withdrawn units that were stationed right alongside the border. This may be a bit by Moscow to avoid a future confrontation with Japan, possibly triggered by the sting in memory of the defeat Russia endured in the Russo-Japanese War. Perhaps this will result in a lasting peace. Well, we, we all hope so, don't we? Don't we now? Okay, we just got the nice infantry equipment. And you know what this means. This is going to take a while to research, so I'm going to go for directly for the artillery here. No, 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 not the artillery, damn it, no, I'm gonna go for something else, okay, I want the industry right here, so we'll take that, we lost the day, oh no, what are we gonna do, but yeah, more factory output, well, you know, that's actually a bad thing, because we're outputting stuff that isn't necessary, logistics wise, we should have tons of support equipment right there, and now we have a lot of these guys, so what are we gonna do, volunteer only isn't great, we got we can get better uh, stuff sadly and we military high command well we kind of want air superiority so we'll honestly go for that of course and now here we could take the old guard not great army defense or division attack i think i'll go for the attack the fall of nanjing the capital of the republic of china nanjing has been occupied by forces from the empire of japan Despite fierce resistance from the walled city's Chinese defenders, Japanese troops managed to capture Zhongshan Gate and fought their way into the city. Sporadic gunfire can still be heard and several fires are, ra are raging. 
uh, in different parts of the city, but most surviving Chinese forces have either withdrawn or been captured. Along with the capture of Shanghai, this is a significant victory for Japan in their war against China. Oh, yeah, they actually did capture it. Imagine if... That would have been funny if it wasn't captured. <laughs> yeah, they're doing their thing, I guess. I'm doing it well. We want this. We want this so much so we can finish more and more civilian factories. We need so many civilian factories to bolster our economy. We just need so, so, so many. So many. Hmm. Am I already focusing properly here? Yep, there we go. Uh, district militia. So, let's actually take a look at this. Alright, so we have all of this infantry. No thanks. This is what we're going to do. So, I'm going to change it like that. Then I'm going to start adding some artillery here. All of a sudden, we've got higher combat, with, but our units are also much, much stronger. So that's very important to note. Canada Wheat, whatever. So Canada Wheat Board, we have taken it. Now we can mine the shield so we can keep going forward. Or we can start supplying the Empire, but that's not kind of what we want. We want more civilian factories, so mine the shield. There we go. Mind the shield, guys. Mind the shield. And then Alberta coal towns. And then we're not going to take this because these branches are mutually exclusive. Basically, if you want to go full factory focus, you take this side. But if you want to, like, to support your allies and stuff. But you, if you actually want to, you know, be very strong, you go commit to the war and then uh, this stuff here. Which, honestly, I feel like is far, far better. But, hey. Mind the shield. So yeah, we've actually got some manpower right now. Not too, too much, but there is some. And I have just enough for more artillery, I think. There we go. There we go. Now I have a combat with a 20, which is obviously perfect. Everything... These guys look like artillery, but that's fine. Okay, naval strike tactics. We literally just got it. Which is fine. I'm not going to worry about those, but I need to start researching the artillery. Yay. Yay. <laughs> and yeah, once we get artillery, then we go for the um, 39 uh, thing over there. Because we want the uh, weapons as well. So all of this research is super, super important right now, as you can uh, clearly tell. I don't know what I want with those, but oh, actually there is stuff here. So, Chief of Army. Not this. Army experience gain minus 10%. That's pretty damn bad. Army defense plus 10%. Army offense. On the offense. More attack is really, really good. So we just got our focus. Mind a shield. How about Alberta Coal Towns? Because we want more civilian factories, right? So we're definitely going to do it. The German Reich claims Memo. With German forces on their border. Poised to attack. Lithuania has given in to the German ultimatum demanding the surrender of the old Prussian territory of Memel. It was passed to Lithuania by the Treaty of Versailles, but has now been reintegrated into the region of Ostpreußen. Have we yet this reached the ex extent of German territorial ambitions in Europe? Experts are doubtful. Another batch of maps made obsolete. Yes, of course, always more, more, more maps. Thank you, Germany, for screwing maps over. It's entirely your fault. <laughs> All right, let's take the 1939 infantry uh, thing because we need it. And then we can start probably actively producing stuff. Yeah, civilian factory wise, we're fine. We've got a ton of these support equipment, which is just great. And we're still building a lot. We got motorized. We've got plenty of infantry equipment, honestly, which is very, very interesting. <laughs> We've got towed artillery as well. 
actually we are missing toad artillery so it's something to be kept in mind and we don't have enough army experience which is fine we just got concentrated industry which means we can get more stuff so engineering nothing i can do here nothing i can do for all of these and now air no 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 not really this is useful because it gives us anti-tank stuff but anyway that's enough for now thank you all for watching don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on social media. I'll see you next time.